So today I am going to go outside and work in front of the like washer in my garage. It's really messy. I'm not doing like a complete garage clean out. Just in front of the washer area, it's, you'll see it's really, really messy. And that is really just all my fault. All the stuff that's there is me. Like I put it there. So I need to get it clean. And also my dining room, again, I feel like we go in circles. Like I take you guys with me, we clean my dining room and it gets out of hand. So we're gonna get that taken care of. There are a few other things. I wanna deep clean my vacuum, um, clean my diffuser. It's a little rough, because I don't know if I'm gonna get to them today. I will tell you that I'm not feeling it today. I feel like it. it's hot and muggy out. Only got like five hours of sleep last night. I don't know, I just couldn't fall asleep. And I'm one of those people when I'm really tired, I'm just not. I don't like it. I don't function well on a little bit of sleep. Also, I'm pretty sure, I hope not, but it feels like I'm getting an ear infection. Aunt Flo will be here in a few days, so I'm saying that to whine to you. I'm saying that to just let you know that I don't feel like it, but I'm gonna push through and do it, so hopefully if there's maybe something you're not wanting to do or if you're just not feeling it, you just take a deep breath and push through. I know that if I don't do this, I'm gonna regret it. I wanna get it done today, at least the garage and the dining room, and out of the way so I don't have to worry about it. And I know that I will be grateful later. So anyways, get up, get done whatever you have to do, whether it's a load of laundry, dishes in the sink, a pile in the corner, we can do it, I know you can. If I can do it, you can do it. So let's get started. So there's a quick glimpse of the garage and the area that I'm going to be focusing on and cleaning up. So I'm just getting the recycling bin right by the garage door so I can just toss a bunch of these empty laundry containers into the bin. I know it's a lot, don't judge me. <laughs> um, I just empty them and I'll stick them there and obviously never do anything with it. I have good intentions each time I'm going to put it in the recycling bin, but obviously I never do. So. Anyways, we are just gonna go through and get all of the empty laundry containers. There were scent bead containers, laundry detergent containers, OxyClean containers. Um, so I'm getting all of that, and then on the washer, I'm just putting all of the containers that obviously still have laundry detergent and stuff in it. And here, I'm just kind of sorting through some of the laundry items. I like to keep some of the lids and put them in one of the containers. I'm going to stock up on the, or refill the scent bead container and both of the laundry detergent containers as well. You see the blue scent beads that I put in with the white ones so usually we use the downy ocean mist which is my favorite by far we've tried the rain something it's the downy brand but anyways I randomly purchased these blue ones and I think it's downy as well but they're called fresh I just wanted to try something different I really like it nothing so far has beaten the smell of the ocean mist I think that's what it's called uh, scent so if you have a scent bead scent that you recommend or that you really really like like one that you keep going back to please share I've been on this kick lately where I'm like trying new scents with laundry detergent and cleaning supplies and scent beads I guess that's like I said in another video how I get adventure in my life now that I'm home and not teaching anymore <laughs> but 
I'm partially joking. So I refilled all those containers. By the way, I purchased all of that on Amazon and I will try to remember to link it below. If you, if I don't just yell at me in the comments to do so. Now I'm going through these piles. So these blankets are just Charlie. <laughs> um, they're usually on the couch and Charlie will take them off the couch and he will suckle on them like a baby. Like he gets them with his paws, bundles them up and he kind of just sucks and needs on them. I've heard dogs do that. Um, if they were taken from their mom too soon, we, you know, went and got him at, I think like eight weeks old. So it wasn't like super, super early. Um, which is interesting because we had another dog, Nani, for like 13 years and we had to get her very early. She was in a very dangerous situation and we had to get her at four weeks old and I had to like bottle feed her and get up in the middle of the night with her. And it was very much like having a baby at the time. And she never did that. So, you know, we got her very, very early and she didn't, but Charlie does do that. But he's also a, just a totally different dog. He, I don't know if it's a lab thing. He's the first lab we've ever had. We've heard that they're always kids. They're, they're very, even when they're 10 years old, they're very childlike and like playful wise. And he is very much like that. Like he will just play with his toys. He loves to play with toys. Even now he just, he is a kid. It's so funny to me because my kids are 16 and 18, so I don't have toys scattered around my house anymore now that the kids are older. Um, but then we got Charlie a few years ago, and now I'm back to having toys scattered all over my house. And it's funny because he is so much like a kid. If you have kids, you know, when you're cleaning their toys up or they see you grab something that's theirs. They, you, they don't really care for it. It can sit there and they won't mess with it. But if they see you touch it, all of a sudden they have to come and like, they want to play with it. And Charlie's like that. Like he can have five toys scattered around the kitchen and the den. And if I go to start picking them up, he'll go to his toy box and start taking things out. And I'm like, you little turd, you know? So anyways, um, but yeah, those blankets are, Char well, they're not really Charlie's, they're ours, but he'll take them, um, put them on the floor and suckle on them. And so we try to prevent it, but he still does it sometimes if we're not home and we've tried to give him his own blanket, but it just gets ruined. He takes it outside. So I just wash those. We're making progress. Looks a lot better. This stuff, like this whole pile is their camping stuff. So I'll let him take care of that. I got all my junk from here. I don't know what we're doing with those black brackets. This is his. This is from when we did the laundry makeover. That is the leftover shelf. So he'll have to take that and do something with it. Obviously, like the garage just needs to be cleaned up, but it's actually not that bad. That looks bad, but we just have like our four-wheeler, our weight thing, some fishing poles, jackets, bikes. Probably going to be a lot easier, but this looks so much better. I will say there are some chemicals in there. You can see like the snowball, the downy. So that's partially full. It's not completely. Um, it has a little bit left. I just don't want to throw it out, um, but it sat in the sun for a while, like outside. So I don't think it's any good to use nor do I think those disinfectant wipes are, I think. Um, so I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna call around later to see where I can dispose of that safely. I don't think I can just throw it in the trash can. So that is why I'm really not doing anything with that. Obviously just doing kind of a quick sweep. This is our laundry soap that we're keeping. That's a clean basket I need to bring inside of my son's. So now I wanna kinda tackle this. Some of this stuff is what was in that pile. Uh, I have laundry going now, but and I know today is the day my daughter's home from work and she does her laundry. So um, I don't really want to start another load, but I at least want to get it organized. Like some of these blankets can just kind of, you know, we can kind of get it cleaned up over here, like with all this stuff. So um, that's what I'm going to work on now. Just cleaning this up. I'll probably wipe down a little bit, sweep, and then we'll call it a day. I don't know what time it is, but I want to beat the beat the heat.
of this and <laughs> okay yeah I'm hot and sweaty but I will say I'm so glad that I pushed through now that I'm really starting to see progress it feels so good I just wanted to like throw that in here a little dose of positivity and motivation sprinkled your way because I know I started this off kind of like the Scrooge so anyways I feel good I'm really glad that I I'm doing this it feels it's gonna be nice I actually might move my car and get the blower out just to blow some of Charlie's hair out and all this stuff out I've never used it hopefully I don't fly away on it but <laughs> anyways we're making progress there are a bunch of blankets right here um, So I decided to start another load. I figured there was still plenty of time in the day for Taylor to get her laundry done. And then I'm gonna work on just kind of doing like a final sweep out here. There was obviously still things that needed to be picked up. It's not perfect, but it looks and feels so much better when I walk out. I, there was actually room to walk and it's just not so messy and gross. I'd love to come out here and do like a deep clean of the entire garage and get it organized. My husband will usually like once a year. I'd love to just come out here and help him get it straight. It really needs it. Like, I mean, deep, deep clean, like wipe down that those appliances right there, the fridge and there's shelving in here that needs to be organized. It's just, it's just a hot mess, but I at least wanted to get this area cleaned. And also I, I almost feel like the time to do the garage clean out has that ship has sailed because it's so brutally hot already even though it's may we're already in weather that we don't see until like july or august 
and there's no rain to relieve it. At least in July and August, we get like those, those afternoon showers to kind of help take the heat off. But you know, I, I do love Florida. I don't want to sound like I complain. It's too busy and it's too crowded, but we live right by the beach and eat, no matter where you live in Florida, I feel like you're not too far from the beach. We live very close to the beach, right on the East coast. There's beautiful springs. Uh, there's so much good food, good people, the, you know, rivers, lakes, um, so many things to do, you know, not just the theme parks. That's a sliver of all of the things, but, and it's just beautiful. So anyways, but now I got all of that swept up and it just, like I said, it's so nice to have that done. It feels nice and clean. That rug I'm standing on is washable. I need to wash that. It's looking, looking a little rough too, but I am not going to wash it on this day. And I will run across the rivers anywhere with you. I won't give up. I'll take my chances and I will follow you through the night. I follow you. So I know this looks kind of bad, but I got to wash those blankets today. I got extra laundry soap here. It's not going to fit there. So my outdoor shoes, if I got to take Charlie out, whatever. So we gotta All right, up. so I'm in the dining room. So the floor's not bad. I mean, this part's fairly organized still. Yeah, there's a little clutter right here. It's mostly just the table. But it's gotten out of hand again, so I want to go through everything and, you know, get it organized and cleaned up. So that is what we're going to do. There's some packages I haven't even opened, so we're going to find out what's in them. This is that Tenneco mop I was telling you guys about. I'm going to leave that here for now as well as this box because I think I'm probably going to end up returning it. I might try it one more time just to see, but I want to... I'll probably send it back. So that's going to stay there. I'm going to let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing I am loving having this little roller cart here To put all of my YouTube stuff on And computer stuff I On the second shelf I keep like journals and notebooks And markers and stuff like that and you know just all of that like tech stuff it's really nice to have this I don't do my editing in my office I use that just for our business I like to come here and do all of my editing I have to use a macbook anyways so, but anyway so this is where I do all my editing and my youtube stuff and I like to have this little cart here to put everything in so it's not always sitting on the table and I will try to fix what has been broken and take this Weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I went to go put that chair down And he's laying there He's so stinking cute This is having a lab They have to be right there with you Charlie is so adorable and sweet You know, I thought he was in a different room He was a few minutes prior to that I just thought it was cute. He kind of came in quietly and laid underneath the table while I was working. Also, LOL at me trying on my apron. <laughs> just, <laughs> I purchased this on Amazon. Obviously, it looked cuter on the person and, you know, on Amazon, but whatever. And I'm now I'm showing you my teapot. I'm going through all my stuff I purchased that I forgot. I re truly, all jokes aside, need to do something about my Amazon habit. I have 
I have been, some of these things like I need, like I'll be like, oh, I need this. You know, I'd like to have a watering can for the plants. It's easier. I'd like to have a little mini trash can for my car. It would make it a little easier. You know, I need an apron for when I'm doing housework and cooking and all of this. Um, but it's just so convenient, like literally at your fingertips. So I feel like I'm also very wasteful and I am trying to do better. Like I have set a goal after, especially after going through all of this stuff and realizing how much I've purchased. And obviously this is like over the course of like a month or two. This isn't like all in like a few days I purchased all of this. Um, anyways, but it, a lot of it is wasteful and I was never like this. We used to have to be quite frugal. And now, you know, in our earlier years together, when we were first starting out, now I've got, gotten a little out of hand and I, you know, need to work on that. Like truly I do. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I feel a bit like a hypocrite saying that because in the spirit of transparency, I did make some purchases yesterday. Um, but, you know, I'm, I am setting a goal. I'm going to do better at not getting so much Amazon. So send me, send me all your good vibes and good luck, guys. <laughs> now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down. Cause I can fall good when you are around. But I will try my best to carry on without you like you've done. Though I'm lost and out of breath, I will carry on. you meant I know that I have done some things I do regret and I don't blame you for leaving I might have done the same but it doesn't make it easier I have slowly like one of the things when I came home and would and stopped working out of the home um, this past year one of the things I wanted to work on was really decorating the home and making it cozy and homey and comforting and I've been slowly working on that we did the office makeover and then we did like the kitchen refresh which I still love and we did the laundry area makeover my next goal is to do the living room and then my bedroom um, and we've also worked on smaller areas like this utility closet which I love and it's so useful also my what is it upstairs the linen closet we did that um, we also I don't think I filmed it but I did do kind of like a mini makeover in my kids bathroom um, we had to do a little small remodel in there um, we also may be doing one soon in our bathroom uh, but I will keep you guys posted on that and talk more about that later uh, but my living room is next and then I think Darren wants to do the den uh, but anyways, the point I'm trying to get to is eventually I would like to do this room, but the dining room will probably be one of the last rooms. So let me know, like, if you have any ideas, I'm kind of over the gray walls. I do think I would like to sand this table and maybe restain it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. How long she's getting. Got a new growth coming in. So happy. Love her. There's two teachers that I know that are getting that are retiring. So I'm going back to my old work and I'm gonna see everybody, but um, it's really special too because I started working or teaching. I interned at this school and then I got hired. But when I interned, I was on that team and those two teachers were on the team. So I've known them since I started teaching, since I was just a wee little intern, and now they're retiring. And this one lady that's retiring, Miss Ojeda, is just the most humblest, kindest person, the sweetest person. So of course I'm going to go see her, and of course Miss Perez too, but 
Anyway, so kind of cool. It has like this, comes in this box. So I thought I would have to bag everything, but I'll just show you really quick. It has like a zipper thing. A wise woman once said, I'm out of here, and she lived happily ever after. There's a mug. Like, looks like a whole gift set inside. There's also a tumbler inside. I'm not gonna take everything out. And Perez, I got this one, time to relax. Hers has like a hat. This legend has retired. Bug. Oh, cool, a back scratch I just wanted to share. So I'm off to see them off. Okay, so I am back from my little retirement gathering. It was really good seeing everybody. All my old school friends. Um, and as the day has gone on, I am, not that anybody cares, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do have an ear infection. My ear is hurting. I just took some Tylenol. I have no clue where I would have gotten it from. I haven't been swimming. I don't use Q-tips. I use peroxide to clean my ear so I don't get an ear infection. So we'll see. Kind of weird because my husband literally went to the doctor, I think last week or the week before with an ear infection. So I'm gonna clean this little vacuum. I really need to clean all of my vacuums. This is the, I think it's Powell's or Powell's. I don't know the pronunciation. Um, I know actually one of you commented today, I saw it, I think Emma, that she's really loving this she actually bought this i recommended this vacuum so it does i'm going to turn it on um it says it has a charge of 30 minutes but so i don't typically use it for that long but i have used it that long like especially when i first got it and i was using it like all the time i think it's actually longer than 30 minutes but also it charges really really fast it is really good with dog hair you guys know i have charlie he's a lab lab shed a lot and it this it comes with several attachments this attachment is the one that i use on the couch and it works really well um but it also smells because i use it on charlie's hair so charlie is he goes to the groomer once a month but he just kind of has like we've had a dog before for 13 years and she i don't remember her smelling like this I don't know if it's like a lab thing or if it's just a Charlie thing. He, it's not like horrible, but he has like a smell, so. So we are going to take this apart and get it nice and cleaned. It smells so much better when I use it. I've used it like twice since then. So we are gonna scrub this really well and it helped tremendously. Um, also update on my ear, I did not have an ear infection. I did go to the doctor and he's like, yeah, your ear looks great. And I'm like, what? Like, are you sure it hurt really bad? So I've had issues in the past with, I may get the pronunciation wrong, but there's a bone in your throat. It kind of like almost, I don't wanna say floats around, but it's, like when you swallow, it moves up and down. It's called a hyoid bone or a hyoid bone. I forget the pronunciation. I'm not a doctor, uh, but I usually have issues on the right side of that bone. Sometimes it can uh, be a little inflamed, like the end of it or something. And for, you know, whether you're like talking a lot and it, anyways, it can cause ear pain. But it's if I have that happen, it's usually when I was teaching just like all the talking and stuff would irritate it and my ear would hurt and I would go in, he'd be like, it's fine. I would take ibuprofen for a few days just to get the inflammation down and it would be okay. Um, so anyways, I was not expecting that when I went in and he like felt around and we determined that was the cause. He did tell me just to be on the safe side, uh, do the ear drops for a few days and you know, I should be fine. So I was really happy about that. I was so confused because I was, I'm very careful with my ears because I did get an ear infection last year and they hurt really, really bad. Like, I feel like even it's even worse than like maybe a headache or having a cold in some ways. It's like, I don't know. It's like, it, it just makes you grumpy. It makes you miserable. It's, it hurts very badly. And so I have so much sympathy and compassion for anybody who has an ear infection or anybody who's sick, but you know, keep that in mind. If your kids have like ear infections or something there, you know, it, it really makes you feel off. And 
but I'm happy. I don't have one. So it, it story ended well. <laughs> um, but anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. If you are not, I'd love to have you. I will see you Friday.